What a rare volume on my bleach this is. Spyro, Ripto's Rage. Ripto's Rampage, you know, whatever which. Ripto's Rage. And obviously, reignited. Aww. Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Fuck okay. you, you cocksucker. As as you know, the portal to Dragon Shores could be just on the other side of this wall. And there's only one way to find out. Ta-ta! It's not. <laughs> Trust me, it's not. Hi, Spyro! This talisman door will only open if you have all six Summer Forest talismans. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. Hmm. Na, 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 na. Gallop, 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 gallop. I think we have to pay him to lower it. But fuck that, losers. There's that. Behind the door. Sometimes I wish they were labeled them before I got them, because that would make it so much easier to find out where they are. Well, actually, it's due if you were to activate the mission, I guess. Alright, you shitbag. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. What if I just tossed one right at your head? You crack. Ugh. Oh, are they up there, Sparky? <sighs> Nothing I can do about that, Sparks. Well, I'm gonna learn how to fly. Me, oh my. I don't know how to fly. Pretty close. Sunny Beach, and what was the other? Whoopsie, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Aquaria Towers. Oddly enough, I think that was one of the places that was shown you could visit in their, in their demo. Now when I'm talking demo, I mean those hidden demos on the Crash Bandicoot games. Which started on Crash 3. Essentially, if you had Spyro, you could play the demo of Crash 3. <laughs> and then Crash Team Racing was the demo of Spyro 2. And with Spyro 2, you had the demo of Crash Team Racing. Crash Bash had the demo for Spyro 3. Spyro 3 had the demo for Crash Bash. More than a crossover. Which is funny, because it's Naughty Dog for Crash... 
and Insomniac for Spyro. Originally. Funny, both teams had to give up their games. Naughty Dog because, well, it was first just Universal. But then, when Sony stepped in to take a larger cut, Naughty Dog was kind of getting skimped on the pay. From what I've heard. Yeah, I feel bad for them in that aspect, but I can't think of any <laughs> games they've made other than Crash Bandicoot and The uh, Last of Us. Uh, and un un Uncharted, and Uncharted. I can't really think of anything else other than that. Heck, I can't think of anything they released recently other than... I'm not counting the remaster of Uncharted 1. That didn't need to be a thing. That really didn't. That was far too recent for them to have to do that. But what, what about Dead Island 1 remaster? That wasn't quite as recent. That was Xbox 360. Bringing that forward, that, that, I enjoyed that. It plays better. I'm running out of water. Or was that originally out on the PS3? <clears throat> I don't remember, but my aunt always tried to get me to play it. Yeah, it was originally PS3, and then they brought it over to PS4. And then they remastered it for PS5. For no reason. Hey, for the record, I did try it. It was a PS Plus game. So I figured, what the hell? Bore down to my goddamn mind. I played for like two hours. Bore down to my goddamn mind. Gameplay sucked. Oh, I know what you're telling me. Not another thing about it, I don't remember you. Yeah, I don't think your flame worked underwater. I think you blew out bubbles. Wait, what? Oh, was I looking at the fish thing and it was a gem?
<laughs> I forgot about that one. The other, I believe I need to know how to climb, because I think it's up there where I have to climb. Oh, I don't have that move yet either. Damn. I got nothing. Yeah, I believe the last ones are where I have to know how to climb. Yeah, it's part just pointing that way. Oh yeah, there's also idle springs. <laughs> Forgot about that level. Let's go. Flippity flap. I know the feeling. Or at least I used to. Yeah, they're like the monks, but green. Bug. That's where you get your health. Dragonfly, dragonfly. out of our temples and stolen our food Foreman Bob Glad to come back ready for that. Ah, balls. You, I don't remember how to... Oh, it might be up there. I won't cheat just yet. <laughs> I won't, I won't cheat that just yet. By using an ability I can unlock anyway. If you're wondering, you have to get 100%. Then you unlock the doors for the, uh... Permanence. Super flame. Which I have done. So technically, I've rightfully unlocked it. It's just that it remains unlocked for new files. Which I'm not really upset about, but still. <laughs> yeah. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Wait. I can't. Okay, I only have. To... I thought I had to do a certain thing. Boom. Not, not wow. Not wow at all.
Well, I turned them off. Wow, Spyro, you did it! Uh, I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Kinda of weird that I didn't have a middle one. Whoops. Hey, you wanna know what's cheap? Apparently the PC version. It's <laughs> cheap to start with all abilities. That doesn't seem to be an equivalent sheet for the uh, console versions. Which is what it started on. Specifically PlayStation. Kinda poopy if you ask me. Says he's hungry and won't oh, be here. satisfied until he swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Uh, I'm very picky, okay? So yellow and blue. No red. Or yellow and blue, yeah. But no red. Sorry, Dory. Oh, shit! Oh shit paste. I ah, shit. No oh, no wait, that was a trophy. Never mind. I already got that. The trophy being don't feed him any reds. I don't know if I ever got the land on the idol. I don't know how the hell to do it. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. I believe it's that aisle you have to land on top of, but I don't know how the hell to do it. Sure, you can get there, but I can't seem to get enough distance. Like, I always end up a little too low. So, how will I know? I think I looked that up, too. I don't remember. So normally, fire wouldn't work on them. But because it's super flame. Which fire should work on them anyway, but whatever. Burn your damn hand, just heat it up, whatever. I'm just going my shits, except it doesn't work. You're telling me if you're wearing metal armor and I hit you in the dragon flame. That won't burn you? Yes, he was smacking himself in the head. shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press Bullshit. and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Bullshit if you ask me. That would burn like hell. Yes, he's hitting himself in the head with the mallet. No idea. Backer. I find it funny that of all things they left it in. <laughs> that glitch. Because obviously that's not supposed to happen. <clears throat> I don't think it is. 
Maybe it is. I don't know. Because when the... Who did the Crash Insane Trilogy? Was that... Vicarious Visions? Ooh. I don't remember. But there was two secret levels, which in the original... Uh, excuse me, in the original North American version... Would be the only two levels that you could get Platinum Relics without trying. Because the time was so... <laughs> was so slow... To beat. That you could do it. In fact, in one of them you could beat... Beat literally... Taking yourself level in a few seconds. Because you start right next to it. But it's blocked by uh, nitro, so you basically have to go find the nitro, the green exclamation box. However, if you time a wave ride, you could go right over them. But even so, if you do it normally, you can still get a platinum and the other one too. But in the remake, they fixed that because in the other versions, you weren't just gifted a platinum for those. Because they were, uh. I don't know. I find that weird. I guess it might have been an oversight that they noticed for the other versions. I mean, yeah, that makes sense to me. Get the English version out first. Make sure it all works. And then redub it for the other versions. Which, in case they might have noticed that and fixed it for those. Like the European and Japanese versions. That was fixed it. <laughs> I hate that that's fixed it. Because those are the only two platinums I, will, I ever had gotten. That and in the Insane Trilogy, it's been added to the first two games. Which I'm not sure how the hell you're supposed to do it in the first two since you can't run. Well, sprint. <clears throat> to aim the camera left or right, use the right stick. I think it used to be L1 and R1. Which I then believe L2 and R2 wear strafe. The dodge. I don't recall ever needing to use these. Might be useful. I don't know. I forget that it's a thing most of the time. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Jump on the stones in the correct order. No. Let's stop. Yeah, yeah, I know. One, two, three, four, five. No. Let's start over. No. Let's start up. I don't remember how you figure this out, really. Oh, 
Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Then what? You pisser. God damn. Let's start off. Shut up. <laughs> nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. Yay. Yay, in quotation marks. Like I said, 100%ing this one isn't too terrible. It's the third one that gives me the most challenge. So I have no problems with 100%ing this one. The third one? No. And if you, yes you, you know who you are. Pound me about it. I'm gonna kick you in the face. How about that? I will hunt you down and kick you in the face. Because honestly, you are starting to annoy me with it. You are starting to annoy me with that. So it's clear to me you might be a troll, and when that's the case, then if you keep it up, I'll just block you. You can still watch the videos, you just can't comment on them to there. <laughs> yeah, Mo, uh, well, I don't think they're Mo, I never mind. Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Why would he want to be a construction worker? I don't... whatever. You know what? That's up to Spyro. <laughs> I barely made that. Stop doing that, you don't have to hold the guy button. It's annoying me. Oh god. I hate supercharge. 
whatever. Um. Oh, here. Hehe, <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I totally forgot that, haha. <laughs> PK fire! <sighs> this is incredibly fucking precise. Yeah, see, I'm too low. I don't know how to do it. I think I looked. It is from there. Don't understand. Maybe if I'm up there, I don't know. I just don't understand. No, how the hell would you get up there anyway? It just doesn't make sense to me because that's too large of a clearance because it's far too high up. I think I explained this, but I'm talking about the Idle Springs land on Idle Skill Point. Heck, I thought the skill points in Ratchet and Clank were harder, but I was able to do those. I think there's one called the Impossible Skill Point. Do the Impossible Challenge without taking a single hit. You don't understand how difficult that is. <laughs> The challenge itself isn't that terrible. But going through it without taking a hit? Ugh. I mean, you can either be really, really, really good and use what weapons you want. But I believe I did it using the Rhino or whatever, because it did a lot of damage. Like, I was trying to use weapons so that I could deal damage from far away. But like, I don't know. I don't remember how I did it, but I did do it. It it, it launched like cheats. Somewhat, they're not like a cheat cheats. Like, there's no infinite health, no infinite ammo or anything like that. It's mostly aesthetic. Uh, uh, cosmetic. There's one that makes everything first person. Which you could do that by holding a certain button, I don't remember what. But now you can move around in first person with it. It makes it interesting. I kind of like playing around like that. It feels... I don't know. It feels interesting. A ratchet and plank game in first person.
suppose you can do a bit of a... Hmm... How would I... How would, how would I describe that? I don't know if I'd say exploit. It's either a glitch, a glitch maybe. So you can fold up walls if you're going commando. I think I mentioned if you're going commando. In first version, I throwing your wrench repeatedly at the wall at an angle. <laughs> no, no talking. Oh, there. To see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Aloha, oi! Aloha, oi! Hello, hello. <coughs> Look at that! The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb; it could help you go places. Yeah, it would. To one hundred percent. Well, yeah, there it is. I was gonna say that hurts. That kind of hurts, but I don't know why. I feel like I missed some uh, accidentally. Whatever. Oh, now I remember. Yeah, as soon as I watched the video and I tried it, I did manage to land on the idol. I think. I don't remember what I did, though. Oh, yeah, let me check that quick. Tote sweet. Spyro. Idol. Spring. Skill point. Oh fuck, that's right. Wrong I know. Uh, Dad, stop shouting, please. Yeah. Now I remember, I was... Yeah. So it's not that one in the pond. I'll give you that for free. It's the one over here. <laughs> there it is. That one right there. I know, I know. Oh, you jerk. I know, I know, I know. It seems like you tried to go for the other one in the pond, but nope. Because <laughs> it feels like the what? 
See, that doesn't look too much of a challenge. So the one in the pond, that one looks like where the skill point would be. Like I said, I'm not going for them all, but I just want to show. I'm sure I'm not the only one. In fact, the first comment, the top comment on the video I was watching, I gotta figure this out. Said so I'm sure every all, all, however many people that came here have all tried the same thing to try to fly it to the wrong idol. Yes, I'm sure we all tried to fly to the idol in the pond. But he's just saying it doesn't even look like an idol. When he, that does look like an idol. It's just not an active one. But, yeah. I can imagine how you guys are as confused as I was about that. Wait, why did I... You idiot. I totally forgot I was using the timer. Someone looks like dragon skin. You know, like Spyro's there. Neat. Pretty close. Eh, sunny Peach. Eh. Aqueous Towers, or Aqua Tower, whatever the hell. Boring. Ocean Speedway? Nah. On a gym. I don't know what that's from. Sunny Jim. Can't stop yawning. I have no idea what the hell those are. Oh lord. Anyway. That's it for this episode. Till the next one. Found my please. I'll say zombie. I'm out.